Okay, today I want to show you how to remove the engine of a Toro Time Master 30 inch mower. Below are the parts that you will need to complete this task. All right, I'm going to do my best to replace this Toro uh, engine with a new one. It just stopped locking up and I'm gonna replace it with uh, the new Kohler engine. So here we do, here we go. First thing you wanna do is remove the spark plug right here. That's done. Other thing you want to do is drain the gas. Now, for me, it was pretty simple. I just unscrewed this, um, tipped it over on its side with a plastic bag to catch out all the gas so I don't have to worry about that spilling out. Okay, next I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and you see the bar is up like this uh, at the 90 degree. So I'm just going to lift it up. Lay it on its back. So... If you come down here, the first thing you want to do is you want to get this transmission loose. So to do that, you see that little bolt right there? See if I can touch it right there. I'm going to loosen this up because this bar here is keeping this transmission from rocking. All right, so to get to this, I'm going to use two uh, half inch um, wrenches here. I tried to get a crescent on there, but it just wouldn't go. So. We're just going to loosen this up. All right, once I got started, uh, I didn't have to remove the bolt all the way. I just pulled off this inside one and it all fell off. All right, next thing we want to do, you can see this engine or this uh, drive gear moves up and down like that. See how that moves? So what you want to do is take a two by four and you want to stick it in here. Make sure you get the two by four above this knob here because that's going to give you a little extra leverage to push this up. And just pushing it as far as you can. So you got to twist with this hand here. And get it started. Now you can see the belt is really loose. And I should be able to remove this transmission belt off of that first one. There we go. That was pretty easy there. So now we got to get the second belt. See, see there. You see there's a second belt right here, that's for the blade. So we need to get that one off as well. All right, so actually it's easier than I thought. If you look right here, I'm just gonna put my finger over here and I'm gonna just pull this out because the blade is not engaged. Just simply pull this out like that. Very All right, so real quick, I need to see what's going on on top. I think I gotta remove one more thing. So I'm gonna pull this out. All right, so to remove these, I'm going to use a 3 8 inch socket wrench. Just put it right in here and right. And if you look at this, uh, this would be the left side of the mower as you look at it. There it is, right there. So that's the one that is at uh, about 11 or 11.30. And then this one right here is the one that's at about um, 7.30 or so. All right, I flipped it back on its back again. And if you look at it, you can see those screws underneath. All right, so I was wrong. It is actually this one right here. That's about the 430. So that's the second one. One. All right, so here's the Kohler engine. And what I want to show you are where we're going to screw this thing in. Let me pull this up. All right, so if you look at the engine, it's sitting just like it does inside the inside of the motor. Uh, there's a screw here that you'll need to remove, and it's about uh, seven o'clock, if this is north, or 12 o'clock, there's about seven o'clock. This is sitting about 3.30 or four o'clock right there. That's the other one. And then the other one is way up here, probably about 10.30 on, on, the, on the... All right, change things around a little bit. Um, before I was doing it with the engine laid back, which is good, but then I realized once I loosen those bolts, so that engine's just gonna fall off. So, took a little precaution, 
Got some stands here that I can put the lawnmower up on. Now I can just crawl underneath nice and safe. So again, to do this, um, I'm just using my good old Fancer hammer drill here. Um, I got a little six inch extension, and then I got something that would convert it from a hammer drill to a uh, three eighths inch chuck. And then I'm using a half inch, um, whatever, there's like a socket uh, wrench on that. So. All right, now I can climb underneath this thing and see this hole right here? That's the first one we go after. So we're gonna stick this up into there. And you can see me connecting right up to that, right up to the bolt right there, okay? Let's set this down. Hopefully this is a good image. We'll give it a shot. All right, now we're gonna go after the second one. You can see right up there. There it is right there. So, let's get down. All right, so this one's a really tricky one. I'm gonna show you how I ended up doing it. If you look up here, you see I finally got it in there. I use a short extension and I'm feeding it through the backside. If you notice, you can see my hand is actually coming in through the front. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there's my finger right there. And I'm holding it in place. I'm holding the bolt. All right, you can see I got the bolt removed, the setting right there. That is by far the hardest bolt I've ever removed in my life. That took about 20 minutes, just back and forth, real slow. Just persistence paid off. I'm sure there's probably a better tool. Uh, I might go back and see if I can get a different attachment that might work better and I'll show you. So, all right, moving back to the engine, it's still here. You can see it's disconnected. I can pull it all the way off. But before I disconnect it and move it around, I need to remove this wire here and just sit there and unplug that. It's like a little clip on it. You can see how that works. You'll figure it out. And then this wire here has to come off, which basically goes into there. You can see right in there. So I'm going to have to remove this flashing right here real quick. So let's do that. All right, to remove these, you better have your other set of tools because this is metric. This one here is a 10 mil, and this one over here is an 8 mil. So I'm going to remove those real quick. This is a long bolt to turn something back in there. So uh, I recommend you put another uh, wrench on the back end like that to hold it into place. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the whole thing just to give me the space and then we're gonna take that one off hopefully it's the same 8 mil all right well you already removed the engine once but my son was like dad you gotta show me how you remove the engine so now that all the bolts are off this is really tough guys pick it up lift it it's really light actually I'm surprised so there you go engine removed all right, again, I'm a DIY guy, man. So I'm gonna use some vice grips here, put that in there nice and tight and see what I can do here. There you go. If you notice, it's got like a little cam in there, a little key that fits right into 